Wibda? My niece wants my wedding dress, and I think I'm going to refuse. I married 30 years ago and was lucky enough to have a custom-made dress. I was very thin at the time, and the dress design I chose was not typical 90s. Think more Regency-style dress. I stored it away and carried on with life. I was blessed with sons and one daughter. I will be honest, my daughter is a totally different body shape to me and I realized when she hit puberty, she would never wear my dress. She has a beautiful hourglass figure whereas I was catwalk model thin. My brother has two adult daughters, one is built like my daughter, the other is thinner. This is the one who asked for my dress after she got engaged at Christmas. I don't like this girl. She is immature for a 27-year-old. She is an attention seeker and intentionally unemployed hypochondriac. She's one of those people on FB who posts cryptic comments and when someone inquires what's wrong, she responds with, I'll message you, Han. I dread any family events with her attendance because guaranteed she will become ill at some point and her mom will have to take her home or find her a room to rest or talk over the speeches or demand a dance with the host. Every time it gets old. I don't have a close relationship with any of that side and my husband and kids think she is Munchonson. So she sends me a text saying, Hi auntie, just got engaged and really want to wear your dress for the big day. Have you still got it? I haven't responded yet. I called my mom asking how niece even knew about the dress. She said because she told her. Mom said that she offered the dress knowing it was stored away and that because niece was on a budget, using my dress would be a great idea. And it's not like your daughter will wear it because she's so large. That hurt. She's not large. She's got boobs and a but that woman pay good money for. There's a difference. So, after laying into my mother about insulting my kid and then laying into her again for offering something that didn't even belong to her, I hung up. I'm not a sentimental person. I love the dress, but if my daughter wanted to cut it up and use paces of it, I wouldn't mind. I just don't want to see it on my niece, and I don't want to deal with the drama if I say no. Wibta if I refused? Niece. So sorry granny said my dress was available. It is not. Best wishes on your engagement. Auntie. NTA. Exactly. Don't explain. Don't give excuses. It's just not available and if they inquire further, repeat. Do not vary the response at all. It's just not available. But W-Y? Sorry, not available. Best advice my dad ever gave me. Never complain. Never explain. Facebook post next day from spoiled brat. So sick of fake people. Message me for deets. In the comments section, quit your princess syndrome. You can't have all things just BC you think about yourself so much. Simple and to the point. I like it. This and make sure you have your dress secured away, that it's not at someone else's house because granny will try to get it to her. NTA. Digiti digity do. This is the only response needed. Obi does not have to explain herself or defend her choice. Her niece and mother have no right to either. She just needs to be succinct and firm and then not talk about it again with them. NTA. Your mom and niece can fuck off. All the way off. Like next town over off. And when they get there, they should fuck off some more. Straight to the next galaxy. Now have questions about how off it's possible to fuck. Any astrophysicist in the house? How far off could a fucker fuck if a fucker could fuck off? This is like genius level go fuck yourself fuckery. Though when you reach the sign that says no fucking off beyond here, stop. Dream the impossible dream and keep fucking off. Your dress. You get to decide what happens to it. Your mom has no right to give your dress away. I'm an asshole. I tell the niece that grandma wants to take her dress shopping as a wedding gift since the wedding is on a tight budget. If grandma is okay with giving away other people's stuff, then she should be okay with people giving her stuff away. Two wrongs may not make a right, but they might shut the asshole grandma up. Opie, please do this one. This is genius. I bow down to your greatness. Your daughters may not be able to wear it, but if either of them has a daughter, she may be able to wear it. I've heard of granddaughters that have worn their grandmother's wedding dress. It is sentimental meaning to you. Sometimes a piece of your dress can be made into a christening gown for your grandchild or a handkerchief for your daughters when they get married. Tell her you have other plans. Edit. Then tell her to fuck off. This. And there are lots of things that could be done to it so that your daughter could wear it, at least in some fashion. You should see what our seamstress did so that my daughter could wear my dress. It was astounding, but she did it, and it was beautiful. Tell her you are saving for you daughter to reconstruct and use when she marries. If the mom or niece don't accept that, then they can fuck all the way off. You are NT, but your mom certainly is. You don't offer up someone's wedding dress without asking the owner of the dress. Also, lock that dress down. Yes. 
put it somewhere safe, because I wouldn't put it past them to try to steal it. Wedding dresses make beautiful christening gowns, or ring bearer pillows, or funeral shrouds, or museum donations, or retrospective fashion show items, or whatever you feel like. It's always amazing how brazen some people can be. No, there's no need to lie or make up reasons. OT doesn't even matter why. Opie just needs to say no and not entertain any further discussion on the matter. It'll stir up more drama if she keeps engaging with them. Just say no and move on. NDH, it's your dress. Also, your daughter could totally add fabric to the dress and wear it herself. Your mom had no right to offer something that wasn't hers. Even if you had no children, the dress is yours. Tell your niece that your daughter and you have plans to alter the dress for her and wish her luck in her dress shopping. The way that she spoke about Opie's daughter made me so upset. Also, why is she talking about Opie's wedding dress like it's a book her daughter can check out of a community library? Like, it would be a big ask if they weren't assholes. And they are, both of them, assholes. Women of that generation don't seem to see the insults they're saying. My mom does that too. My daughter said the next time she calls her fat, she's not small, but she's built like Jessica Rabbit, she's going to go off. I encouraged her to do so, too. They can't learn if we don't teach them. I don't think it's that they don't see it. I think it's that they have gotten away with it for so long that they just don't think anyone has a right to do anything other than smile and take it. They don't give a shit. One of my grandmothers was like that, and it was because she was a bitch. Totally agree. There's people of every generation that think if it's their truth, it's not rude to say. I worked nursing home for 10 years. There are 90-year-old bitches just like there are 20-year-old bitches. And T.A. better respond or she'll claim, you didn't say no, that means you said yes. Tell her the dress belongs to you, not your mother, and you don't loan it to anyone. Save with screenshots. You don't have to give any response to what comes after that. Maybe add, and I'm not gifting it to you either, so she can't swing it to say you only said I couldn't borrow it. In TA, my daughter ordered her wedding dress, and then was diagnosed with thyroid cancer and gained a lot of weight. The shop was less than helpful and said she needed a new larger dress. We found a terrific seamstress who took the dress apart and refitted it to my daughter. It can be done. Hugs. Hope your daughter is doing okay as she can. Kudos to that seamstress for making sure she got to wear the dress that made her feel most beautiful no matter what. NTA. I'd say no. I'd burn it in the yard first. You can have it made into. Christening gown for grandchildren. Beautiful heirloom. Oh, that's a beautiful idea. The gown, not the burning LOL. My mom made hers into a dress for me to wear for my first Holy Communion. NTA. Your dress. Your choice. You do need to respond to your niece, though. How about something along the lines of? Hi, niece. Congratulations on your engagement. Ring wedding bride with ale. Yes, I do still have my wedding dress, and it is very precious to me. The memories it evokes for me are special and unique. Although I admire your taste and sense of style, I am respectfully declining your request to borrow my dress. I wish you all the best in finding your own special gown. I'm on the side of being truthful whenever possible. This reply seems spot on and truthful, except I would suggest sincerely, an Opie, instead of a love, and Opie. Yeah, reads better than fuck your entitled ass, which is what I would be tempted to add. Yunta, don't lend it to her. She sounds like the type that will alter it beyond recognition to make it her own. Please do not jade your refusal to her. Justify, argue, defend, explain. She sounds like the type of person who will use any reason to argue with you about it. I suggest using a phrase like, no, that doesn't work for me, or even not possible. There are thrift shops she can visit. There is a site called Still White which sells gently used or still new wedding dresses. I think you can find them on FB Marketplace. Wedding dresses don't have to cost a small fortune. She contacted you because it would be the easiest solution for her. If that's her text to you verbatim, I wouldn't lend it to her based on that alone. It was so rude. She wants to wear your dress. The audacity. Keep your dress for your daughter in case she does want to use it as part of her wedding dress one day, or for any granddaughters you may have. NTA. Right. She didn't even ask if she could wear it. It was an entitled text saying she wants it. I'd reply with, Hi X, I'm so excited for you. Congratulations on your engagement. You are going to make a stunning bride. My dress is not available, but I am sure you will find the perfect one. You just say no. You don't give a reason or it will backfire and she or others will argue your reasoning and some people agreeing with you and others saying it's not a valid reason and on and on. You don't need a reason you just say no. NTA. Tell her it's not fit to be worn anymore. 
but you'll happily provide pictures so she can buy one like it. Nta, your dress, your decision. Don't let anyone guilt you into giving it to her. No is a complete sentence, Mo, you don't have to justify yourself. If this was me, I'd just say that she's not getting it and then ignore everyone else. It wasn't your mother's place to give the dress away, but yours. Nt, tell your niece you're saving it for your beautiful daughter. No more explanation needed. This. The entitlement and insults are insane OP. Sleep soundly cause they're awful, and it's your dress end of story. Hi sweetie. Congratulations on your engagement. Yes, I still have my dress, but I'm not willing to lend it. It's so precious to me that it would completely break my heart if anything happened to it. Best of luck on your dress search. You'll make a beautiful bride. Then if she keeps hassling you, you don't have to get in the weeds. Just keep it really simple. Sorry honey. My answer is still no. It's not an option for your day. Yes, and if Reddit stories are any indicator, hide that dress where no one will find it till after the wedding. This level of entitlement can lead to sticky fingers. In TA, but make sure you are very clear on the no. I wouldn't even offer reasons for the no. I would just say no and leave it at that. And if the follow-up is why just shrug and say doesn't matter why, the answer is still no. Repeat as needed. In TA, no wonder your mom likes your niece. They are cut from the same cloth. It belongs to you. No is a complete sentence. It might even get you out of having to go to her wedding. Yay. So she sends me a text saying, Hi auntie, just got engaged and really want to wear your dress for the big day. Have you still got it? Well, she hasn't asked to borrow it. If that's the best she can do, she can jog. If she does learn how to ask nicely, just say yes, you still have it, but no, she can't borrow it. No other words are needed. NTA. NTA. And definitely within your rights to say no. But save yourself a ton of grief and tell everyone, I hadn't looked at my dress in years, so this prompted me to pull it out of storage. I was devastated to discover that it had gotten damp and was all covered in mold. I've sent it away to a restorer, but I won't know for months whether they'll be able to do anything with it. I'm so sorry, but it just won't be an option for you. In a few years' time when your daughter, or son's fiancé, or whoever you want, is a candidate for using it, it was amazing what the restorer was able to do. You can't even tell. This is way too much effort for someone OP doesn't even like. No, that won't be possible. Then ignoring or blocking anything further should do just fine. In TA, absolutely not, and there is no need to even give any other reason than you do not want to. You don't sound like you want to lend her your things. And you are a fucking grown human. So in TA and don't give it to her, you are a fucking adult. Say no, as is often said on this site. No, it is a complete sentence. Congratulations on your engagement. I'm sure you'll have a lovely wedding, and I can't wait to attend. Regarding the dress, I'm flattered you want to borrow it, but I'm going to have to decline. I wish you the best in finding your own perfect dress for your big day. NTA. This is actually more of an etiquette question than an IDA situation. Opie. We've seen this sort of thing before, and now I'm nervous for you. I'm not sure no is going to be honored here. Hide the dress somewhere safe before an accident happens to it in your closet, or it disappears one day while you're at work. Tell everyone in your household that you declined in case someone comes to pick it up. Super and TA, neither is your niece. Your mom was way out of line here. In TA, your mother had no business offering something that wasn't hers to begin with. Does she usually do this? Niece isn't asking. She's telling you she wants your dress and asking if you still have it. That's rude and presumptuous, even if you had a good relationship. Tell her the dress isn't available. No, perhaps your granddaughter will want to wear it someday. Just tell the family it is not going to be lent out to anyone, but a granddaughter. It is a family heirloom. And if that doesn't work, tell them to foo asterisk asterisk OFF. NTA. Don't lie. Just tell her the dress is important to you, and you don't want to lend it to her. No excuses, no claims that you will do something else with it. Just, hi niece. My wedding dress is important to me, and I don't want to lend it out, but I'm sure you'll find something lovely. But grandma said. Grandma should have asked me first instead of setting you up for a disappointment. That really wasn't fair to either of us. Don't get drawn into discussions. Don't come up with excuses. Just tell her you don't want to lend it to her and repeat that until she stops asking. If anyone gives you a hard time about it, just tell them if they feel strongly about helping your niece, they can offer her some money for a dress. You have no responsibility to provide her with a wedding dress. NTA. Mom, if you want to offer your dress, that's fine. You don't get to give away my stuff. Don't do it again, or we will need to take some time to reevaluate this relationship. Niece, I am sorry my mother gave you the impression you could have my dress. That isn't possible. 
I am sure you will find the perfect dress for you. In TA, your mom is welcome to fork over her own wedding dress and stay in her lane. Your niece can one, get married at the courthouse if money is tight, two, save up for a dress, three, wait until she can afford her dream wedding, or four, borrow her mother's wedding dress. Tell niece you're saving it for any potential granddaughters, and good luck with her search. Text back to confirm that you still have the dress, and that she will not be wearing it to her own wedding, as the dress has too much sentimental value for you to give it up. I fear as you given the dress will come back ruined if it comes back at all. You could also add the dig that you don't do favors for people you don't like. Stand your ground, even if the dress is never used again. Do not let your mom anywhere near it she may steal it for the girl. If you have security cameras, make sure they record so you know who took the dress if it goes missing. And change the locks if your mom has a key or code to your home. Let your husband know what is happening so no one convinces him to hand over the gown by telling him a lie. And yes, I agree your mom and niece can fuck off.